Oh wow, do I look pasty? My goodness. I look awful. Um, oh, excuse the hoodie. Don't ask. And don't excuse the glasses. I love these glasses. I don't care what you say. Is that something on my lens there? Okay, hello. Right, so it's me, Daniel, on the benchmark. Very, very quick little vlog for you to tide you over. I'm at um, Ralph's uh, little paint shop. Um, and I'm standing next to my rather sorry slash gorgeous looking um, Project M3. And it's just so strange to look at because it looks absolutely amazing. And at the same time, it looks terrible. So let's walk you through it. Let's walk you through it. Come on. I'm going to spoil you guys. I'm going to do the whole tilty screen thing. Come on, tilty screen. Let's try and do this in one take, as minimal edits as possible. I'm editing and you're back. All I did was change the mic. So there we go. There she is. So it's still, yeah, it's outside because it's sunny. Okay, so it doesn't stay out here. Um, front bumper's off. Um, reason for that, um, actually it's uh, quite simple really. Um, I completely smashed up the uh, front left, that bit there, um, corner splitter and the bumper. And um, Ralph's a perfectionist. He can fix the bumper and I've got the splitters on the way from Teddy from SSDD. Hey Teddy, shout out to you. Thanks for sorting me out again. And again. <laughs> um, and he didn't want to fix the bumper until he had the splitters because otherwise it wouldn't quite line up right. He's a proper perfectionist, so hats off, Ralph. Good guy. Um, these grills. Dear God. What was I thinking? Do not buy grills off eBay. I mean, they don't actually even fit. Okay, well, they fit now before they were loose, but they're not correct. They don't fit. One of the clips already broke trying to go in, and just look at it. It looks like some sort of bling bling. No, they're not staying, so they're going. Um, I mean, even the, even the moulding of them, the quality is just te If I run my finger here, it's completely rough. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Yeah, there you go. I think you can. Awful things. Um, brand new badges and uh, genuine. Yeah, hey. Um, Marrakesh Brown, yes looking lovely um, I forget what this part here is called but it is 17 years old um, and I'm replacing it because it's actually only about 27 pounds I think so you know if you're gonna restore a car you, you might as well you know replace trims that you can afford to replace so I've gone ahead and ordered that so there'll be a brand new trim piece and that will look brilliant it will, everything will look new the wipers um, they're being addressed because they, they had a little bit of rust and again 17 years old um, and Ralph's working on them right now as you can see there's a little bit of sanding's already taken place um, I don't want to talk about the windscreen at the moment that'll be another one uh, my what do you call these wing vents Let's get you focusing. Sorry for the noise, very fast, loud road here. Um, they are in absolute mint condition. Oh. Oh no, they're broken. Okay, I'm gonna need a new set. I take back everything I was about to say. Bollocks. Ah. <laughs> uh, I was gonna keep them chrome. You, I'm not editing this out. There you go, guys. Welcome to my world, my life. No, that's what happens when you pop them on and off too many times. Uh, I can't blame him for that. Okay, going to get new ones. Uh, I've still got my smoked depot light. I think, I think that'll stay. Uh, all painted. Uh, handles are being done. Uh, Oh, wonderful channel I right here. Really good. Subscribe to it. Really, I recommend it. Seriously, I mean, the guy that hosts it, he's just very charismatic. Genuine guy as well. Um, 
and this is where it gets all a bit weird. Um, I've got no gas kit for some reason here, so I've ordered a new one. Um, CSL boot. Um, it's still not quite fitted correctly. There is genuine reasons for that. It takes time to settle um, when you refit and paint. So it will be perfectly lined up, I promise. Brand new badge. Yep. And look at this. This is the weirdest part. <laughs> um, I've never seen this. Uh, look, look how... The exhaust looks without the bumper. I mean, that bumper's deep. Um, I might give it a bit of a clean up. Uh, actually, it's pretty clean. Is it worth polishing this up, do you think? I'm not a bling guy, uh, as you can probably tell. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks at the moment. There you go. Project M3 is coming along very nicely. And... Uh, it's dusty at the moment, and it's due for a nice polish, but with the sun out, which just never happens in the UK, at least it gives you a really good idea of of the, the tricks that this colour does. It, look, so there you go, I mean, right there. Gorgeous. And then when it's dark, it looks a bit crap. Well, no, it doesn't look crap, but it just it goes dark. It's a subtle colour. It's an unusual colour. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. That's where we are at the moment. Um, mirrors are being painted like right now. I'll try and get footage of that. Um, please like, share and subscribe. The more of you that do that, the, the more of you that can help me afford to make my car nice again. I should get hats made, you know, those Trump ones, you know, make Dan's M3 great again. But uh, I'm getting there. And like I said, it's a passion project. And yet you keep asking how much it's costing. It's, it's still going up. <laughs> because I just don't stop. I mean, I say to myself, okay, I'll just stop there. And no, I'll just keep going. But no, there's no supercharger, okay? I'm not going forced induction okay there's your clue um i've got some new headlight things going in as well so that will look nice anyway enjoy there you go it's gorgeous isn't it love it love it you don't need to love me just love the car even if you don't like me subscribe for the car because it's only going to be more awesome when it gets running again um well if you don't like the car subscribe anyway because you like me how about that yeah all right guys Right, this is really weird. It's, it, it just, uh, if you're from England, you'll, you'll be as baffled as me. This doesn't happen. Um, if you're from America, uh, specifically California, you're like, meh, it's like another day. Uh, but unfortunately, no, my Irish uh, parents decided to move to England. Nice one, Dad. Nice one. Anyway, that's my M3. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.